Hi, right, brethren and non brethren. <clears throat> this topic I'm going to discuss, a very controversial topic among Christians, is uh, Christ's blessed hope. <clears throat> now, I already told you I don't call it the rapture because that's Jesuitical. Okay. Rapture was a Jesuitical uh, design. Well, who's a Jesuit? So, watch my video about the Jesuits. I told you it's not Illuminati this, Illuminati that. They rule everything and the Satan rules them. They're the children of disobedience. Well, we, well everybody's in Satan is, but they're the, the head of the children of dis disobedience. Rapture is a, uh, it's these date setters that destroy your faith in the blessed, blessed hope. Well, he's not coming. He's what he keeps saying he's coming. September 23rd and October this, October that, he's not really coming. He just destroys your faith and your reward. How many Bible believers out there know you get a reward for uh, anticipating his appearing? His appearing is imminent at any moment. Good uh, expert, in my opinion, about this is Chuck Missler. He explains the doctrine of imminence. And it's because of him that I got these Bible verses here. It's not, like I said, I'm not going to hit you with one verse theology like most Christians does or two. I'm going to hit you with a whole slew, slew of them because God does not play games. He's not a trickster. He's not a prankster. That's the devil. Okay, he doesn't want you confused. Oh, is he coming or not? So uh, he is coming any moment. Signs all around us. Yes, we don't know the hour or the day he's coming. He didn't say nothing about the season. I'm talking about the season. The season is right now. Well, I wouldn't be doing this if that wasn't the case. Like I said, I learned the stuff I'm telling you. Most of it I learned five, eight years ago. But I'm telling you this. Well, first of all, I wasn't saved. And second of all, God did not. Remember, God has his province is all about timing. God's not too late or you know, too early. He's just right. Like goalie locks in three beers. That's God. He's just right. His timing is perfect. His way is perfect. Book of Psalms. So uh, I don't think it would be the end days if I'm not doing this. It is the end days when the end of times. <coughs> uh, they're already talking about forced worship. That's worshiping the beast. Final Pope of Rome. It's not the Middle Eastern. And Christ is not Obama. If you read your Bible literally, again, your hermeneutics. Your, is it allegorical or literally? Which one do you turn? Where's the needle going? It's go, to me, it's going mostly literally, but with common sense. So I know when Christ is at the Passover, he's not talking about this is my body. Literally, we eat it. Eat it. It's, a, it's, a, it's a ritual. It's to remember me. Right? So going by the book of Revelation, it says he's the final Pope of Rome because... Every pope, whether you like it or not, is an antichrist. It talk, the Bible talks about many antichrists. Well, what 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 is the antichrist as the Bible describes? Let me, let me put what the Bible says and what is the pope is. Well, the Bible says he's a world leader. Well, funny, the pope is a world leader. Not outwardly. Like I said, open but false, secret but true. Inwardly, yes, he's a world leader. He's a religious leader. You already know that. He runs the government through the Jesuit order. Every single government. Runs all of them. Uh, the Bible says he's the he's decked in uh, purple, you know, oracles. Well, that's you ever saw that's how the, the Pope dresses sometimes. Purple was a decked array with gold. Funny, that's how the Pope dresses. The Pope is a, a the Antichrist. You know, I already told you what Antichrist means. It does not mean against Christ. It means false Christ. It means pseudo Christ. Well, that's what the Pope is now. I'm not telling. I'm not saying he's the Antichrist right now. I'm saying the final pope. There might be one after him. I'm just saying the Antichrist means false Christ. Look it up. Look up the literal meaning. Again, etymology, what these words mean. Pseudo Christ. It means in place of. What do you think the pope calls himself? The vicar of Christ? In place of, which is that's blaspheming the Holy Ghost, which is an unforgivable sin. There are degrees of sin. Now, talk about that. I mean, already there's already Chris LaSala. He already did it real good on his ministry. Uh, there's no such thing as equal sin. There's degrees of sin. Oh, you better believe there's degrees of sin. Book of Matthew, blasphemy against the Holy Ghost is unforgiven. The, the, only an Antichrist can blaspheme against the, the Holy Ghost because he's saying he is Christ. I don't need no Holy Ghost. I am Christ. That's what the Pope says now. He's the vicar of Christ. Look that up. Oh, you bottom Roman atheist Roman Catholics like I was? Wouldn't even know that. I'm talking about the guys at the top. Devout Catholic, yes. He's most slippery. That's what he calls him, the Vicar of Christ. He has a shield. He has like a shield, you know, like the knight's head. Like a, like a, what I'm trying to say, like a royal shield. Of course, he's royalty. Pope cannot be sued, you know that? 
He's sovereign. He's a king. Papal Caesar means king. Caesar's palace in Las Vegas. That's the name after him. Okay. The, the the Roman Catholic Church is the dynasty of the Antichrist, and the last one is going to be the Antichrist. Now, what his name would be? I mean, that's all conjecture. Like I said, don't quote me. I say, like I said earlier, I'll tell you which which one I believe and which I know. I believe his name will be uh, Petrus Romanus because. As the Roman Catholic Church says, Peter is the first pope, which we know that's ludicrous. He never went to Rome, is uh, too much from Jerusalem. So, as so as so beginning, as so is end. They love circle of symmetry, so why not name the last pope Peter? So, I think he's going to be called Peter. If that's the case, then it can't be this one. Could be, could, I could be wrong. Said, I'm a prophet, but I'm not God. Yeah, you're supposed to tell prophecy uh, because the Bible is a prophetic book, but you're not God. It's up to him. What he permits, this could be a pope. Like I said, the trigger for the seventieth week of Daniel, when you hear the words "covenant," Israel treaty upholds, because that's what the Bible says. It's biblical. That is biblical. That's the start. That's non debate That's seventieth week of Daniel. And people confuse the the wrath of God with seventy weeks. The, let me tell you how it goes. The seventy weeks of Daniel is a seven year tribulation. First three and a half years is the covenant treaty. I believe right there is World War Three. That's where World War Three you start. Remember, it's problem, reaction, solution. That's how the Jesuits work. We got to yearn for the Santa Christ. Now, I'm not talking with your brethren because you're not going to be here whether you believe it or not. Next, I'll be talking about pre trib, uh, not rapture, pre trib, blessed hope right now. But you're not going to be, I'm talking about the unbelievers. You're going to want them, want them. That, That's what the New Age religion is all about. Putting our differences aside, it's not religion, it's all getting together. Well, that, well the Pope is a world leader. He's gonna, you're gonna want to want his worship because he's gonna put an end to this World War III. The dollars have been crashed by now. He's gonna come up with a solution. The mark of beast, a payment system. Oh, this is this is this gotta be the real Messiah. My parent, my family was dead broke, and now we have a sense of currency again. He replaced it with this mark of beast, which it could be anything, it could be CC, it could be anything. I'm, I'm not, I'm I'm not going to claim what it is. Like I said, I don't know everything. Just know the Bible. I'm going by what this is Bible based ministry. King James, Bible based. So that's what the Bible based. That's that's for the, my hermeneutics because I term, interpret it literally, not allegorically. And you have the, you know, first three years, then you have the, uh, the abomination, desolation. I think before that, that's when he gets killed. Like I said, they're gonna blame it on Jews because the Jesuits hate the Jews. The Jews did that. He's gonna die. I don't know if it's for three days. I need to check that. I don't know if it's three days, but it'll make sense because he he's a counterfeit Christ. Christ died, rose again in three days. He's gonna rise again in three days. And when he rises again in three days, you're gonna have the 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 beast, the other one, the lamb, which is a Jew. The uh, I, I saw the the second beast rise. It was the beast of the lamb. That's a Jew. That's the prophet, the false prophet. Look at him. He died. He rose again. Three days. He's, he's Jesus Christ. He's Jesus Christ in the flesh, which every pope, way before since the Vatican started, they claimed themselves, look it up, to be Jesus Christ in the flesh. Make her Christ. No, I'm not in place. I am Christ. I'm him in the flesh. But that's what, that, I'm just, like I said, I used to be an eight year Roman Catholic, so don't tell me that's not the truth to all you Roman Catholics out there. It's to be eight years. Not devout, but I know their doctrine. So. Yeah, he's gonna rise again for the dead, and anyone who does not worship him on his iPhones, on his uh, so all these iPhones are for smartphones. There's gonna be a symbol if you don't worship, you don't acknowledge him. I guess his answer, you know, accept or not. Rome, the Department of Homeland Security, which Eric Phelps calls Romeland, and I do too, Romeland Security, because John C. Gannon created Homeland Security, and he was CIA. All the way, and anybody involved with CIA is Jesuit, 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 because of the Jesuit order. CIA was passed a pattern at the, after the Jesuit order. They would call the company. That's what the Je Jesuits call themselves. That's what CIA calls themselves, the company. So, yeah, I believe uh, John C. Gann was a knight, knight of Malta. He's the the, the Rome, Homeland Security is basically the Pope's uh, secret service. They're not secret service. They're the inquisitors. They're the ones that are going to get you Christians at the later night to go and behead or disappear, which I'm, it's already happening right now. Don't be surprised if I'm disappeared. This could be my last video at, at the uh, the din stroke of midnight because they always come at night. So, yeah, after you, well, those who worship them get the mark of the beast and boom, your your debts are already clean because of the dollar crash. 
Now you got a new form of cashless payment system, so you can go ahead and buy or sell, like he says. Uh, and uh, whoever does take the market beast, beheaded, and I believe they are saved. Yes, they are saved. Tribulation saints, also biblical. Okay, a lot of people like to take script, uh, corrupt Bible verses. One of them is, "He who endured to the end will be saved." Now. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know, hundred percent is it true, but I strongly believe, you know, you can go ahead and co convict me of it. Those are the tribulation saints, because why would it be me suffering through it? I'm already saved. That sounds like that's how, that sounds like uh, Christ actually stringing you along. You're, you're not saved yet. Just keep doing what you're doing. That's guys. That's not Christ. That's the devil. Once you're saved, you're saved now. Sealed to the day of redemption is permanent. You're saved now. You're not saved in the future. So we're hearing some people saying you have to endure to the end. To do said no, that's the tribulation saints. Endure to the end of the tribulation. That's what the tribulation is all about. Everybody keeps talking about tribulation, tribulation. Well, do you know why God's going to permit Satan to run free for seven years? It's the last call of salvation. This is God's way of saying, okay, all you worldly people, not follow me. I'm going to go ahead and leash hell on earth. You think it's bad now? Wait until. Wait until it comes. Hell on earth. You either your heart's gonna be hardened or softened. If it's softened, that means you'll be beheaded, you'll be saved, you'll be pressed. If it's hardened, you'll be a wrath filled, fitted for the vest wrath fitted for the vessels of destruction, and you're gonna serve the devil. But with under God's approval. Like I said, God's gonna use you either way. Saved or not saved, he's gonna use you either way. And uh you rebuilt the temple and they will worship him. As a Messiah, remember, this is in Jerusalem. The Vatican's destroyed. Remember, I said the Vatican's going to be destroyed. So, everybody that thinks it's the Vatican, Vatican rule of order, because like I told you, I warned you several times, Jesuits are not the Vatican, they're behind it. The Vatican's going to be destroyed. That's going to say, look, look at this. Uh, now, I don't know if it's God's going to destroy. I don't know who's going to destroy it, but it's going to be destroyed. That's going to kill. Most dots are saying, look, it's not the Catholic Church behind it. This is the real deal. Okay, he's the Messiah. This is the real deal. It's not the Vatican Church. Okay, it's destroyed. It's destroyed. Okay? He's ruling from Jerusalem, as Christ said he would. Earthly throne, the Davidic throne. Where well, that's not true. That's all the way at the end. That's after the second coming when he comes with his bride on white horses with a two-edged uh, sword out of his mouth with eyes of fire. Where well, he just he cleans up what his father started, which is the bulls of wrath. People confuse the wrath of God, seven-year tribulation. You can also call it Armageddon. People call it a lot of things. I call it, some people call it battle arm again, but it's a call it a wrath. But it's basically, <clears throat> first three and a half years, World War Three. Pope brings everybody to world peace. He's worshipped. He's killed. Blame it on the Jews. Abomination of desolation. We built the third temple. The last three and a half years is Jacob's trouble. A lot of people confuse Jacob's trouble with the whole seven years. No. Last three and a half years is Jacob's trouble. Watch Chuck Missler. Uh, I don't know what YouTube is. If you want, I can let you point to it. But he lays it down perfectly. Biblically sound. He doesn't just blah, blah, blah. No, but he doesn't want not just one verse theology. He, he's a Berean. He really means he sifts through the scripture. He makes sure there's no doubt for a believer. Unbeliever is going to doubt all the way. But I believe it might because the devil is very cunning. But uh, you're, you're going to get it one way or the other. God's going to convict you. So you can watch Chuck Missler's. Uh, uh, ministry. He lives. He lives out perfectly for doctrine eminence. It's from him. Why I got these scripture verses from these biblical scriptures from? He cites it. Look, his doctrine eminence says it's impossible for Christ to be mid or post trip. And a lot of people who use the verses saying it is. Uh, he, he he it is post trip. They're confusing those verses. I don't know intentionally or or by accident with the second coming. Second coming and blessed hope are two different things. Blessed hope is where he comes in and twinkling in the eye. The trumpet sounds first. I believe they'll call your name, Chuck, that's what Chuck Mr. says. I think that's the case. Only we hear it. Only we see him. You see him in the clouds. He does not live one foot on earth. We're out of here. Boom. Comes for his bride. Imminent. Any moment. Tomorrow. For me. Why? There's a crown for that. Which, I don't worry, I'll go to scripture to prove it. Because you're not supposed to believe me. You're supposed to abide by God's word. Which I have. And I have, like, nine verses all preach about the doctor eminence which I don't hear again so I'm talking about things which in my belief I didn't hear no Christian ministry preach about and I'm talking about uh, uh, so, some do this Charles Lawson he's out of Tennessee he does I'm not gonna say no are you saved if you believe the pre-trip pre, pre post trip yeah but don't count on a reward 
and God's going to convict you, slight you for damaging my credibility and all the others to get their reward. Oh man, I should have listened to him. Uh, there's a, like I remember I told you, God speaks through people anyway in movies. There's a movie called The Rapture, and you know what's the slogan, but it says, it finally happened. I should have listened. I'll post that up if you guys don't believe me. There's a movie called, I think it's called The Final Rapture. I don't know what it's about. It's probably pornography, demon possession. I didn't see it. But if you don't think God talks to you and everything, if you don't believe doctrine or providence, I'm going to say that until you get tired of it. Doctrine or providence. How you explain that? When the end times and I see a movie online. It's called Final Rapture. Its slogan is, it finally happened. I should have listened. I was, uh, if you haven't noticed, I, I was a, a post trip. Yeah, he'll come after the tribulation. That was me. But no. Me with the Bible, God praying about it convictedly. Hey, I told God when I was post trip, this is what you need to do. Was a situation like this? God, I believe it's post trip. Okay, you see this in the prayer, prayer intercessory prayer. If it's pre trip, trip, convict me without a doubt. Send someone. Boom, like that. I don't know if it's on the same day or days after. I see the Chuck Mister thing. What do you know? Thank you, Lord. Lord, answer prayers. Praise God, Lord Jesus. And I want to impart that for you now. Go ahead and reject it. This is not salvation based. Salvation based. When I say that, that means you don't believe what I'm saying. You don't know what I'm saying. You're not saved. I'm not saying that. But you're not getting a reward. Your crown of righteousness. Kiss it goodbye. No reward. Because you'll get a crown for loving his appearing. How can you love his appearing? I'm about to start right now. How can you love his appearing if you know the uh you know exactly when he's coming? It's post trip. He has to come post trip. He has to. Tribulation over. He has to come, so the, the the wrath of God begins. Here's how it's. I'm not saying it's stupid, but post trip is this what you're saying? Oh, uh, basically, basically, I forgot to tell you what Jacob's trouble is. Jacob's trouble is basically Holocaust Part Two. We thought Holocaust was bad for the Jews. This is God taking the Israel, his hand of protection away from Israel and let them have it. Cause they're in sin. Remember, God's no respect to a person. Yeah, it's his chosen people, but he's no respect to a person. He's gonna let them have it. Some's gonna change, turn to Christ. Some not. This is last call of salvation. This is, this is your last call. Last call of salvation. That's what the seven year tribulation comes from. A lot of people say seven years tribulation, but why is God letting us have? That's why your last call. There's a tribulation saints. Those are what you do as a safe who don't accept the mark of the beast. If you do, you're not saved. You accept the mark, so you get beheaded. You're saved. Those are tribulation saints. Those are all in Chuck Missile. Like I say, meekness is a fruit of the spirit. I need to swallow my pride. I didn't want to believe. No, I'm post I don't want to believe it. You think you think I'm not like you guys? No. Pride. Everybody has pride. No. post trip. No. God says meekness is a fruit of the spirit. If I yield to it, you will teach me the truth in all things. That's what the Holy Ghost says. The Holy Ghost will guide you to the truth in all things. Now, if you don't find the truth, it's not his fault. It's yours. You didn't yield to it. So, Jacob's trouble, yeah, it's, it's the last call for Israel. That's what they call Jacob's trouble. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Let's get started with the uh, first one. Now, this is the first time I am going scripture. I am gonna. I was always in scripture because you're supposed to know the Bible right here. But I'm gonna go my King James app. Praise God to the people that can read in a book form because, like I said. Uh, the school system, as you know, is made for you to hate reading because we dumbed down. When the Bible was in public schools, say SAT scores through the roof. Token out, evolution theory, we animals, stupid animals. SAT writing test scores in the ground. That's provable, true history. So I said, get read the Bible. I'm more astute. I know how to uh, talk, enunciate. I'm not saying I totally got out of it. So stuttering sometimes. Blah, 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 that's all. Past uh, at habits, old habits die hard. So, this is about uh, scriptural proof why it's pre trip. Now, the slight chance I'm wrong, I want to make it on purpose. I'm going to make it really hard for you to refute me because I don't do one verse theology. Okay? I'm a Berean. A Berean is when he makes, um, I'm not exegesis. Exegesis. And I don't know if I got these. Con uh, mixed up, but I think exegesis is the one that makes up the doctrine and finds verses to support it. Like Crawford Dollar says, "You are gods." Look, look. Psalm says, "God thinks you are gods." When he was just saying, "You thought you were gods." Don't think devil can't quote. Devil quotes scripture to suit his needs. You heard that before? 
Even the devil, think William Shakespeare said that. Even the devil can quote Fisher. Well, not in, not in King James, yeah, especially King, any King James, then uh, even devil can quote Fisher. So, to deter that it's not the devil, this is not devil, it's not demonic. Like I said, I prayed, I want to be absolutely sure it should be true because blessed hope is, let me see what the blessed hope is. Blessed hope is for your sanctification process. Remember, uh, Jesus Christ coming for his bride. The bride is the body of Christ. Okay? You can't, how are you going to be, for people that are post tribus I'm not doing this on purpose, but this is what he's saying, post tribus on me tribus uh, I'm going to let you, you're already saved. Remember, he who endured to the end will be saved as a pre-tribulation saints. I mean, not not pre-tribulation saints. I don't believe is that if it, if it isn't, convict me on it. But his, his were your statements for the mid-trib as you're saying, okay, God's going to put you to this three and a half years of hell. Well, every Christian persecuted last two thousand years. Well, this is not, the past two thousand years is not tribulation. This is, people downplay what the tribulation is. They really do. Because they, I hate this argument, well, what makes us so special? God, God let us, all the other Christians, get eaten by lions, burned at the stake, horrible things. Well, this is going to, to me, a trip is going to make that look like a picnic walk in the park. You don't understand 17th service. You don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying you're saying you don't know what you're talking about. This is hell on earth, literally. Not allegorically, literally. God's going to pull all his hand. Remember, God has a hand of protection and everything. That's why I just, I don't look outside, I don't see the army. People are going to down. God's his hand is slowly dissipating. When it dissipates, I won't like this on my bed. When it slowly dissipates, seven year of tribulation, now there's no protection. The, have at it. That's what God said to them. Have at it. These won't follow me. Maybe they'll follow you. Uh, I'll bring them to me from you persecuting them. That's the purpose. So if you're a mid trib you're saying, yeah, I'm going to let you go through this hell. Beating up, remember it's for sanctification. Yeah, you're gonna be real sanctified going through hell. Uh, the Bible says I'll deliver you to the iron temptation. Some of you don't lie. Some of you, if you believe that, don't lie and say even you say you're not gonna tempt it to take the mark of the beast. They're gonna be all out hell on Christians, saved or not saved. Hell, literal hell. Gates, the the bar, the pits got open. I think demons gonna be flying everywhere. It's hell. Anybody saw Resident Evil Retribution? They at the end like that, but that's a picnic compared to this. People are downplaying. These mid tribbers or pole tribbers are downplaying. That's why he's saving us. We're not gonna have no uh, uh, seven year tribulation. So mid tribbers saying, "Yeah, I'm gonna let the devil do this, and uh, then I'll come get you." Take comfort in the fact that it's not a blessed hope no more. See, if you're a mid trib and pole trib, it's not blessed hope. It's a blessed curse now. Now you're calling the, the Bible a liar. That's the, that's the Bible calls it blessed hope. It's not blessed hope no more. It's blessed curse because you're going to have to endure just like the old un, other unsaved people. Forget about sanctification because that's what blessed hope is about. It's the final sanctification process. Just like a bride, you need to take take this into consideration. The Just like an ancient Jewish wedding. If you know anything about ancient Jewish wedding, it patterns exactly how Christ is coming. And the Jewish wedding, again, this is all Chuck Melissa. Jewish wedding higher goals, I'm trying to remember. It starts with the uh, covenant. Christ, well, Christ is the covenant. What do you think the cross was? The cross was the love letter he wrote to his church in blood on wood. That's what Chuck Mises says. That's beautiful. I agree 100%. It's his love letter to his church. Primarily for, for every way, primarily for his church. It's written in blood on wood. That's what, that's what he did to me. That's the covenant. So a Jewish wedding starts ancient. I'm not talking now. Ain't you using sauce with a covenant with a purchase price? Christ bought you with your blood. The groom, I'm talking about this is what happened, used to happen in an ancient Jewish wedding. Groomsmen used to go prepare a place for his bride. Well, funny, the, the Bible says that too. I will go home and prepare a place for you. Christ, Christ going to heaven. Prepare a mansion for my father. My father has many rooms. I'm not even going to cite that for all you true believers. This, is, this video is for true believers. All you true believers know what I'm talking about. He says that. Don't tell me he doesn't say that. There's a place. Now, the bride, remember, this is true history, even though this is biblical, but it's all true history. Look up ancient Jewish wedding, look up how they used to do it. The the groomsmen come anytime. It's imminent. The bride's supposed to wait. Where the bride? Where the bride of Christ? Anytime. Imminent. Okay? Imminent. That's how it is. And and when you're saying that, it's not the blessed hope, it's the blessed curse. Especially in post streamers. Post streamers are saying going through the whole hell, seven year hell. 
when we're already saved. Makes sense if I'm not saved. That I got you, because it's, it's for the unsaved to get saved. Last call of salvation. But you're saying, yeah, we go on, go on through hell. You take comfort in those words. I'm being sarcastic. That's what it says in Thessalonians. Take up because the bride of Christ is supposed to be holy, without blemish or spot. Now, the odds are I, that's be more if it's pre-trib than mid-trib and post-trib. I'll be without thing because I, I don't want to sin in when he's coming. I don't want to have sinful thought right now, and he appears. Well, he's not gonna appear in my room. He's gonna be in the clouds and boop, there I go. It's sanctification. You yearn, you look forward to it. There's a crown of righteousness away for you for those who love to appear. Now, there's a lot of people. I saw another guy say it's not just me saying this. There's other guys with their own ministry saying the same thing I'm saying. But you mid trip or post trip, you are destroying our blessed hope. You're making it a cursed hope. Do I believe you're saved? Yes, but you're costing yours and my crown of righteousness. Okay, remember the devil likes dissension among the facts. He's a dissenter. You know what dissenter means, right? Like starts ruckus. Yeah, these guys are saved, but if I can get some think mid post trial devil likes anarchy, buddy. Who cares if we're all saved? He wants us to argue. While we're arguing, we can't get other people saved. Does that make sense? Argue bigger. This is to me is not salvation based. This is not it's like saying you're a bitch triple post trivial you're going hell. No, I didn't say that. I said kiss your uh righteous crown and righteousness goodbye. Now uh I'm going to teach you the top doctrine of eminence, which all you mid-trippers or post-trippers, uh, please post a video or something and rebuke. What, where, where did this come from? I never heard of this before. It's not just one verse and that's it. Okay, believe that and that's it. It's clear. It does not confuse with the second coming. Let me, yeah, let's talk about the, uh, the first of all, let me talk about how the post-trip was what you're saying. You're saying, this is your argument, not mine, it's what you're saying. Christ is coming. Down for his church, post trip. He's going back up for the supper of the Lamb. Wrath of God pulls the, roll, the bowls of wrath for battle Armageddon. For, for I don't know how long that is. Probably some people say three years. Christ is coming right back down. That was a sack lunch. That's very. You, you think he'll spend more time with us in the supper of the Lamb. So you're saying he's coming right back down. Second come, uh, second coming with, with his bride. So we're, we're going to go on this. That's what you guys are saying. Makes more sense scripturally. He comes for his bride. The bride's already ready. Our sanctification is right now. The time is now. Time is ready. Don't worry. I'm gonna come with verses. I'll hit you several verses in, and uh, your your soft, your heart might be hardened. Well, I don't believe in the uh, pre-trip. I know, okay. And if like I said, it's wrong, Lord will convict me. He hasn't convicted me yet. I told him to convict me. Remember, I told you I was a post stripper. I told you I was post strip. Told God to convict me. If it's post strip, I uh I repent. Not repent, I'll confess. But blessed hope is only a blessed hope if it's pre. If it's made or post, it's a blessed curse. Cause you're going through hell. You people saying both strip is they, they think we're gonna withstand it. Don't forget God's not gonna put temptation on you that you can't withstand. Well, this is a temptation you can't withstand. Seven year tribulation. It says in the Bible, God will not put a temptation that's too much for you to bear. Well, he also said, I will deliver you from the hour of temptation. I believe that hour of temptation is the Antichrist has come up. People receive the mark. Come on. Yeah, it makes sense. God's going to have his bride. It's one of them. No. Way out of here. Now I'm going to go preach you the uh, doctrine of Eminence. Next video, I'm going to, it's going to be, like I guess I'd like to go back and forth. Secular or non secular? This is for my brethren because it's primarily for my brethren. Next one's going to be secular. Why the Bible is uh, scientific. It goes to go on the Bible. 101 Reasons Bible Scientific. That is a, Documentary on YouTube. Praise God for whoever did that. Uh, I tell you he's a man of Christ. I tell you he's probably saved because he didn't. I don't know who he was. I don't know his name. He doesn't talk. You know, the documentary I did, I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to see my face because it's all God. But I feel what can't help. I can't. What do you want me to talk like this? I got to show my face because I just want to prove that it's all God. Those documentaries, I didn't talk. Didn't say who I was. Nothing like that. Because this is all for God. God does not want your. His service divided. I know this is far from me. I want some glory. No. All or nothing with God. All or nothing with God. So I'm going to preach you doctrine and eminence. Like I said, I told you I'll fill in holes that, that uh, I don't hear about. And I don't hear about this anywhere except through Eric Phelps, Lawson, 
uh, Chuck Missler. Okay, Hoven was uh, Ken Hoven, the guy that got released from prison. I know you might believe no, he is. He was a pre-tripper. Now he's a post-tripper. Go your own way, Hoven, brother. Hoven. I believe you're still saved, but uh, you're wrong on that one. So let's go start with the Dr. Demons. Like I said, if your uh, Bible, whether hardback or app, if it's not littered with notations, bookmark, you're not abiding with God's law, which is another reward. I think, you know what, I think uh, next video will be uh, uh, 12 judgments. I don't know. Now we'll do Bible scientific, but we'll talk about 12 judgments, which is Believe it or not, there's but there's a checklist, which is the Bible, but the Bible's instruction manual of what God will judge you, but saves or not saved. Okay, one of them is the rapture. So, let's start. This is Doctor in Eminence. Like I said, this is uh, well, thanks, praise be to God to let Chuck miss because he's just a vessel too like me. He's not God. God imparted this. Like I said, this is how we fellowship. He doesn't tell everybody everything. He told Chuck, Mister, this. I prayed. Okay, I'm post trib. Lead me to the truth. I don't know where. Let me tell you, I'm always on YouTube. Chuck, Mister, and I didn't believe him at first. At the end, it's, it changed from belief to no. Christ is not gonna give a crown of righteousness if you it's like fireproof. Yeah, believes come anytime. No, you have to know. No, this you have to know. I know I use believe and know. This you have to know. But you're not getting a crown. Remember, God knows your heart. You can profess all you know. I'm a preacher, but preacher, I'm a preacher, but I'm a preacher, but he'll come before. But the way your actions are is that you're all down. You know, you're going to seven years of hell. You know, you're mid reproach, but you're going to be feel sorry when you don't get a crown of righteousness. So, like I said, I'm a Berean. I go through scripture furiously. Whatever doctrine I say, I have more than one. I have. This is how long we have here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So anyone's re refuting me, you don't have to refute each and every one of them. Okay, it doesn't mean that. It means this. Now again, uh, don't confuse. Yeah, let me talk about that before I start. Don't confuse the second coming with the blessed hope. They're two different things. Blessed hope is for his bride. Second coming, he comes with his bride. Blessed hope, he's in the clouds. Second coming, he's on the ground. Uh, blessed hope. Only his bride will see him and hear him. Same coming, you better believe everybody's gonna see him and hear him. He's gonna sound like with the right say sound like a warren, not a lion, but sounds you never heard before you can hear it. People all the way in Timbuktu, everywhere around all over here. That's second coming. And I see a lot of post trib videos saying otherwise, no, no, it's uh, you you got you're wrong. It's it's second second coming, it's not second coming, those verses are for uh uh uh, blessed hope, and I say come. Is the verses you guys like to use? I already know what you guys like to use. You like to use for ye have tribulation. Uh, like I said before, Bible, uh, when it says comforter, notice it was a, comf a capital C. And when it says wicked one, capital W, tribulation is small t. I'm having tribulation right now. Don't confuse this tribulation with the tribulation. Like I said, we're playing down seven years, so it's not going to be, it's going to be bad, but we will tell it. No. Not, nothing as you ever seen before in the history of man. That's the seven year tribulation. Y'all pl playing it down. You're, you're toning it down. So, yeah, you guys like to use that verse. Well, he will have tribulation or something like that. He's talking general. There's another one. What else you got? You endure to the end to be saved. I'm already saved. Oh, I don't have to endure. Sounds like, are you talking work salvation there? Have to do something to endure? There's no enduring. Once you're saved, you're saved. I'll save February 8, 2015. I'm saved there. Every Christian should know the day you save. I believe everyone. The day you save, what happened? Know that day like it was yesterday. When I was crying. God, godly sorrow working with parents. Remember, it's a gift. Repentance is what He gives to you. Yeah, you, there's three forms of repentance. There's the repentance where you just feel sorry. That's the inward sorry. The repentance He gives to you that unbearable. The parents He gives unbearable. I, I don't cry. That's what I said before. I don't cry. Period. Crying like a baby. There's, there's crying, tearing. There's crying. Look at your two year old cry. Crying like that. Crying like that. See, you know, I see, Lord. Okay, February 2015, that's the day of saves. There's no enduring. You endure, you walk out your fear with uh, fear and trembling. Not earn it, work it out. Work it out is dying to yourself. Abiding the word, edifying. That's what work it out means. 
Dying to yourself, renewing your mind. Work it out to fear and trembling. It's 100% of the Lord. Join the 2-9. 100%. If it's even, if it's even 99%, you're not saved. If that's what you believe. So let's go into uh, doctrine and eminence. Like I said, if you want to rebuke me, rebuke every scripture. One by one. I got 11. Every single one. Let's start with uh, 2 Thessalonians. I want you, I'm saying this because I want you to turn there to your King James Bible. I want you to see it. I'm not going to post it up. 2 Thessalonians 2 to 7. So let's go there. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Now, th this one's probably not one that, that benefits me because I know you guys are going to see coming, second coming. But notice, like I said, it's that coming looks like a, a regular coming. As in, bless I hope he comes too. Second coming is the title. Yes, he's coming. That's the verb. He's coming in the blessed hope too. Okay? So, the mystery of iniquity. What is the mystery of iniquity? We're in the mystery of iniquity right now. But it says, the mystery of iniquity. Oh, it's not capitalized. Yeah, but here we are. But that's why I got more verses. Don't worry about it. I got a lot more. Like I said, I'm not a Bible scholar 100%. I know what in and out. No one, anyone says that he knows 100% of the Bible, get away from it. If you know 100% of the Bible, then what's the point of having fellowship? You don't know 100% of the Bible. The, the mystery of iniquity, I believe, is the seven-year tribulation. Just lost my place. It will be taken out the way. He who he who now letteth. Remember, I told you, he's going to... Seven-year tribulation is not the wrath of God. The wrath of God is the wrath of God. Okay? After the tribulation, when he pulls the bulls of wrath. People confuse the two. Seven-year tribulation is all Satan, but with God's approval. It's Satan being let loose. That's what I believe he's saying here when he says, Only he who now will letteth. Will let until he be taken out the way. I think that he is that body of Christ. That he is that body of Christ until he or or a believer be taken out of the way. And there's no gap when it's when two eight saw says it says and then there's no gap in there. There's do I believe there's some gaps in the Bible? Absolutely. There's no gap here. This is the sequential. And then shall the wicked be revealed. That is a capital W. What wicked is he talking about? Well, who else could it be but the Antichrist? Who else could it be? The wicked, capital W, shall be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and destroy the brightness of his coming. I think the, the brightness of his coming is not, it's not Jesus. It's, it's the coming of the Antichrist. Okay, so I thought at first, see, I'm, I'm flesh and blood just like you guys. Okay, Don't think the devil doesn't like you to twist. No, oh, it doesn't mean that. Doesn't, don't think he doesn't do that. But it's all, it's all, it's all, it's all good. It is me with my slang. Because God's going to keep sending more verses in. So, this is one, 2 Thessalonians 2, 7, 8, to all you mid and uh, post tribbers. Mr. Iniquity is a seven year tribulation. It will be taken out the way. And then, it, immediately right after, it, the wicked shall be revealed. By the Christ goes, the wicked shall be revealed. We know who we, the, whoever's left knows, who doesn't know he's an Antichrist. They think he's the Messiah. That's the word. But, uh, that's what the Bible says. The wicked, the wicked one is the Antichrist, and the 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 Lord Christ in the second uh, coming, not before God pulls His wrath, will destroy the brightness of His coming. So, that's one. Let's go on another one. First Thessalonians one ten, and to wait for the sun, again wait, wait. That's a word. Sounds of eminence to me. Why, why why we need to wait for Jesus Christ? We already know when he's coming. He's coming mid trip or post trip. Tribulation hasn't even started yet. Why do we need to wait? What is all this wait? Wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, which delivered us from the wrath to come. It's not God's wrath, because again, lowercase W. It's it's the wrath of God, but it's Satan. It's really Satan's wrath with God's approval. Seven year tribute is all Satan. People confuse seven year tribute with God's wrath. No, it's God's wrath indirectly. God's wrath, the battle armor getting after that, is Paul. It is God doing that. Pulling his balls of wrath upon the earth. So, wait, that's the word of eminence. That's two. 
First Thessalonians 5, 6. Therefore, this is Apostle Paul, let us not sleep. Now, like I said, the Bible was not written originally in English. It's written in Greek. Okay? Uh, here, here's where it gets tricky. Because, yeah, I know I said you have to be Bible literally, but with common sense. If you know where Paul used the word sleep, it's not sleep as in literally sleep. It's not sleep as in dead. It's sleep as in not expecting imminent return of Christ. That's what he means. Therefore, let us not sleep. As do others, mid, mid and post tribus. But let us watch and be sober. Not sober as in uh, sober from alcohol. Sober as in even key or Christian, born again Christian. It's not too high, not too low. He's even key. He's vigilant. Be sober and be vigilant. For they that sleep in the night and they be drunken are drunken in the night. Okay? This one I say, uh, Drunken, drunken. I think uh, I'll take drunken with uh, their own self righteousness because, like I said, this I was waiting in Greek and Hebrew. Okay, I don't think he's talking about drinking here. This is this has to do. Let us not sleep and be sober. I mean, sober can mean uh, a lot of things. Remember, talking about you know semantics. This sober is being calm. Drunk is the opposite of sober. I mean, you can be drunk with cheer. You can be drunk with delight. You drunk is a verb. You can be drunk with alcohol. Drunk with joy. And it goes on five nine. First Thessalonians five nine. For God had not appointed us to wrath. Now God's wrath again, lowercase. It would it would make sense if he said God had not appointed us to the wrath. Okay, that sounds like the wrath of God that feeds your mid trib or post trib uh, uh, doctrine. It's lowercase wrath. But to obtain salvation by a uh, Lord. There's another one, Thessalonians. First Thessalonians five. Let's see. Let's go to Revelation all the way to the end. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Patience is a fruit of the spirit. Why well, again, why do we need patience when we know seven years has not started yet? What is this? This sounds like eminency. I also keep thee from the hour of temptation which shall come upon the world to try them, try, trials and tribulation, try them that dwell upon the earth. That's everybody that's left. And I believe the hour, I mean, this is open for debate. What is the hour of temptation? But I don't think the hour of temptation is. Is that temptation where you tempted to serve the Antichrist or not? Could be the mark of peace. Could be anything. Could be after he died and rose again. But he said, I'll, I'll keep thee. That means you're not, remember, God does not put the temptation you can't handle. Keep thee from the hour of temptation. Here's here's a kicker. I mean, I really slam, slam dunk right here. I hate to use that term, worldly term. I hate to make this a joke. There's no joke. This is dead serious. Behold, I come quickly. Quickly. Hold that fast that which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. No man take that crown. Well, he's talking about you made in post rivers. You're not taking my crown. If I'm wrong, okay, God will convict me. No problem. If you come with biblically sound drugs. But you're not taking my crown. Let no man take that crown. He's talking about you guys, believers. Oh, no, believers. Made in post -trib. Let no man take that crown. I come quickly. What is this quickly? If he comes seven, remember, you have to be the Bible literally. It's not a allegorical seven years it's seven years as soon as it's seven years in a second here he comes for you post trippers three and a half years for you mid trippers he comes okay it's literal don't be read the bible literally 98 99 percent of the time of course it's leave with some common sense because jesus christ says some parables or throw it away literally it's a literal seven years why do we say come quickly if, if he's not, no way it come. Tribulations hasn't begun yet. So there's one there. I'm going to keep going. Keep going. And these things, here's one that's self-explanatory, but I explain it anyways. Really all of them are because Holy Ghost is what interpret. I don't interpret the Bible. The Holy Ghost interprets it for me because uh, I yielded. And if you have the Holy Ghost in you, you're saved. You accept it or reject it. Again, I could be wrong. Don't don't tell me I'm not saved though. Just, uh, it's believing what it's not. It's, it's, salvation is believing and knowing what Christ did, not what He's going to do. This this people, 
Go, you know, you guys probably call it heretic heresy. There's people there, don't believe in Christ's second coming. He's not coming. Are they saved? Absolutely, they're saved. Show me in the Bible what you need to believe in the second coming to be saved. And you need to believe in what he did, not what he's doing or going to do in the future. Did. But no, I believe, blessed hope, to follow the Bible literally, cover to cover, no contradiction, no error. Perfect. He's coming to blessed hope. He's coming in the second coming. And and when this is Luke 21, 28, and when these things begin to come to pass, that's all the signs. Now there's no the signs is there's no sign because imminent means there's no sign, but the those are not sleeping will see the signs. And when these things begin to pass, look up. Not look out. This is what Chuck Minister says. Look out. It, it, it should say for you mid portion, look out, because the Antichrist is coming. Look out. Look up, because he's gonna be in the clouds. Lift up your heads for your redemption draweth nigh, draweth near. Redemption. Not, uh, I know some, some probably say, oh, redemption means, uh, no, it's just salvation. No, 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 no. You don't look up for your salvation. Okay? It's within. Holy Ghost. Baptizing the Holy Ghost by with the blood of the Lamb. This is the blessed hope. It's not the second coming. Because... The, the second coming, you, you don't have to look for him. You'll know where he is. Where were you, world? This second comes for everyone. And if you're there, you're not saved. It, it could be, I don't know, we can get that. Are those people second, whoever survives, die and survives. It's a claim to be Christian. But uh, second coming, my point is, there's, don't need to look up. Don't need to draw fast. He comes. It's all those disaster movies, 2012. Those are little pebbles compared to his second coming. So there's eminency. Look up. Lift up your heads. Your redemption draweth nigh. So let's go to Matthew 24, 44. Yeah, this, I don't know how this got there. This has to do with you uh, rapture time setters. This, uh, this is therefore ye be also ready for such an hour you think not know the Son of Man cometh. Well, majority of people are not, not going to think he's going to come. Uh, well, excuse me, I got to plug in the adapter. Most, most people's, most people's not going to think he's going to come imminently because majority believe in mid and post trip. I keep telling you people, just because you're saved doesn't mean the devil's going to stop. If, 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 if he, he comes even more, okay, he leaves the people that are saved alone. The devil's not attack who's on his own team. That's what Chris said, La Sala, La Sala and his ministry. Absolutely right. I believe 100%. He comes after you more. Like I said, I want him to die. He comes after you full guns blazing, tanks, a full army. Get him. He's saved. Get him. Uh, no, we got to make him mid-post trip. Can't get his crown. That's a victory. That's a small victory. He wants my soul, but that's a good enough. Send, send these believers after him. Get them twisted in doctrine with their hermeneutics. Get them thinking allegorical and everything. Get them thinking mere truth. Take his crown away. Take his crown away, Christian. Okay? Don't think the devil won't use even saved people. If the devil can use saved people, that means God used to save them, not unsaved people. Don't think the devil can't use saved people. If you're not yielding the ghost, he will use you. Your protection momentarily is open, not to lose your salvation, but open to, for him to, to play on your uh, pride. Saying, because I know you're some of your pain pride right now. What is he talking about? Blah, blah, blah. But, uh, yeah, therefore be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the Son of Man coming. Here's another one, 2 Timothy 4 8. 2 Timothy 4 8. This is the crown. I told you you need a crown of righteousness. Henceforth, there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and unto me only. Only. That means you post trip. Th th think for a second. Use common sense. Remember, Holy Ghost is common sense. Well, I, why would God, God give you a. Another guy made a point of this. I don't know who his name is, but he made a good point. Why does God give you a crown of righteousness? And when he's coming at the only time he could come. Post trip. Was he, he, he going to come after God's wrath? Come for his church? Go up, go up and down. That that's what you're doing. Okay, he's gonna come after. He's gonna come post trip. He's gonna. No. 
and to me only, unto them that love his appearing. That's my crown of righteousness, and you get a reward. You get a crown, I believe you get a reward, just for being imminently awaiting, sanctifying. Does it make you want to... You never want to sin. The sin of bondage is gone. The urge of sin is gone. With the blessed hope, you really do not want to sin. You are... You're taking drastic measures not to sin. You're saying you shouldn't do that now. No, no, no. I'm, I'm just saying... Uh, well, well, yes, yes and no. Some some people, based on the how they yield, it depends. I'm saying and not, not sin any. Is it possible to go sin out a day? Maybe yes or no. But I'm just saying full force, overdrive. Okay? Overdrive, not the sin, because the bride is supposed to be blemish-free, no spot or blemish. Sanctification means set, set apart, made holy, which is the, the, the maximum of the ancient Jewish wedding. Okay? The bride is all makeup, nice, uh, done, dressed, everything. For those mid-tribbers, post-tribbers, like saying, okay, honey, uh, I'm talking as a man now, a Jew, in a Jewish wedding. Because if you get raped here, beat down for three years or seven years, and I'll come after for you. Take comfort in that word. Sorry to sound like that, but that's what you're saying, you make pro tribbers Holy, without blemish, spot. I'm going to get to that one next, but this one... It's the crown of righteousness for those who love his appearing. And to me only. He's not giving anyone a crown. What's the point of giving a crown where, uh, of course you're going to love his appearing. This is the only time he could come. Mid-tribbers, he could come mid or post. Post-tribbers, that's the only time he could come. Why am I going to give you a crown? No. This is not salvation. You have to earn this. Salvation, you don't have to earn nothing. It's salvation by grace through faith. This you have to earn. This is a reward. This is a crown. And, and not to me only. And, and not and not not shall give me that day and not to me only and unto them that also that shall love his appearing. What it means is it's only the people that love his appearing. Mid mid tribs, post tribs don't get none. Um, got two more. First Corinthians fifteen five one. Is Apostle Paul. 1551 first uh, 1 Corinthians 1551 behold I shew you as a mystery that's the unknown that's another imminent word okay when some something's mysterious like when they see horror movies or this is mysterious this goes mysterious you don't know when it's coming we shall not all sleep but we we shall all be changed glorified bodies when Christ comes, man, we can't enter the heaven like this in our life. I'm gonna get it. We'll be seen as He is seen, glorified body. What is, why is Paul saying we, when it's uh, mid or post trip? He's expecting to be changed himself. We is including him. That if anyone is the best. Go ahead and refute this. This is Apostle Paul saying, "We shall all be changed. Change is glorified body." Pick that apart. In the moment of a twinkling of an eye. The last trump for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. That's every that's dead should be raised up first, and then whoever's alive, glorified body. And uh, Titus 2.13, looking, eminence again, looking, looking. Oh, it makes sense. He's It's, it's mid-post-trib, but what are you looking for? You must be looking for the Antichrist. I hate to say this, but post-tribbers, it... It's either one or the other with God. If you're not looking for the Christ, you're looking for the Antichrist. Explain Titus 2.13 for me, please. Explain all those verses I just said. All of them. Refute. Refute that uh, and uh, explain that. Looking. Present tense. Looking. Not looked. Looks. Looking. That's present tense. Again, your hermeneutics. Messed up. It's allegorical because most people don't believe in millennium kingdom. You know that? No, it's figurative. It's Christ ruling on hearts. He's not going to physically rule on the earth for a thousand years right now. Lose a reward. Go ahead. Lose a reward for that. Go ahead. Bible's literal. Literal. Literal with some common sense because there's some allegory in it. But it's literal. Like I said, it comes with origin. Look up the word origin. O R I E G E N. He was a sinner. He's the one that he's the one to blame for this mixed up of allegorization. Looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing. This is not coming. Appearing. Second, blessed hope is also called the appearing of our of our great God and our Savior Jesus Christ. 
Now, there was more here. Here's the devil messing up on my phone. I could have sworn I had more, but there's also one. I'll keep going. I just named 11, but I'll keep going. There's 54 minutes, but this is important. This is one of the most important ones. There's, there's, there's one in the past scripture in the Bible that the, the body of Christ, I think it's the uh, book of Ephesians when he talks about uh, marriage, but he compares, I'm talking about marriage, earthly marriage. Do you know earthly marriage is symbolic of the, the blessed hope? When you marry, you're supposed to leave and cleave to your wife. Well, funny, that's what that's what the Christ does with us. Okay, we leave and cleave. We're not, we're the bride of Christ. We're not of this world no more. We're flesh of his flesh, bones of his bones. Well, funny, that's how Christ wants to see when you marry your wife. Well, is that funny? Your wife's supposed to be holy, without blemish. No premarital sex, no pre, no premarital sexual immorality. Well, funny, that's how he wants to be with us. The blessed hope is that sanctification. If you say you're made of post tribute, it's blessed curse. Okay? Okay, I just, that that Titus, that, that's good enough. I don't want to do one verse. I hate being a one verse theology, just pin on one verse. But uh, it's not to show off that I know the Bible or anything. I learned this, like I said, from Chuck Mesa. He's the one that's astute. He's a Bible believer. He believes that we live in a simulation too. I'll talk about that next. Computer simulation. Uh, or can be not a computer like... It's like a computer nation. Like what you see is not what it is. It's beyond your five senses. But there you go. It's a uh, I'm pre-trib. Blessed hope. If you want to rebuke me, rebuke every single one of those verses. Titus is gonna be hard because those words are in the Luke one's gonna be hard. Look up, looking, wait, patience. You don't say that for someone that you know is not coming until something has to happen first. Common sense. Remember, Holy Ghost is common sense. The more you yield to it, the more you have common sense. When I was on say, common sense was off and on like a light. Why did I do this, man? Stupid. Now, do I do that? Of course I do. I wasn't you until Holy Ghost. But it happens less. Oh, yes. Thank, thank Lord, pro, thank be, be the God, Lord Jesus. Come quickly. Come quickly. So there you have it. Uh, speak in peace. Come in peace. I, but when I speak, it's meant for war. As probably lost some followers good. I, I, I speak the truth. Because I love you. Am I your enemy? Therefore, am I your enemy? Because I tell you the truth. Book of Galatians. Uh, if I'm wrong, I said convict you. But uh, I know you better come with some sound. No, don't come with scripture. Your own. I want you to come with the scripture. I told you. Refute it one by one. Do that successfully. Okay, I moved to pit made a post trip. But Titus is a. Nope, I'm not saying no brain. I'm not saying you stupid. But can it be explained that the God's not author of confusion? That's in the Bible. It says it in the Bible. It's not the author of confusion. Looking. It's imminence. Looking for that blessed soul. So uh please uh peace. Uh probably the next video I'll probably do Bible scientific because that's just as disappointing this. So goodbye.